from Strategic Club. And today, we'll provide you a webinar about uh, robustness testing, how to prepare our strategies, our robots, for uh, the future events, what will happen in the future. I think this is a really like crucial topic, an important topic to survive in market and to be successful and uh, make money. So uh, I hope you will like it and uh, and enjoy. The webinar will be consist of a like first presentation, and later we'll go directly to the strategy one software, and we will go step by step through the all which uh, all topic which we are discussing today. So for now, let me introduce uh, my co-worker and the also co-owner of uh, the Strategy Quant company, Zdenek Zanka, and he will tell something uh, about him to you. Hello, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here and uh, to, to speak about Strategy Quant and about trading and algo trading. My name is uh, Zdenek Zanka. And my nickname is Sydney because uh, Sydney is uh, Zdenek in English. And uh, now I would like to tell you a bit information about me, about my person. I'm an active trader since 2006. So I think that I can say that I'm experienced trader with 11 years of experience in real trading. I started with uh, futures and forex. And uh, I was discretionary trader. I was discussionary trader for uh, seven years, from 2006 to 2013. It was a really long time, but discretionary trading is uh, very difficult to concentration. It's not easy to trade uh, manually. So now I am focused on automated trading strategies. I have started uh, with automating strategies in 2012. And uh, now I am focused mainly on automated trading strategies. So, so it is, uh, let's say, five years in algo trading business. I am also co-owner of the Strategic One company and my business line is head of education. So I am focused primarily on education business in our company and also on strategy Denek. development. Yeah? Denek, stop please. You haven't? Webinar. Mm, some problem with the webinar? Yeah, it seems that you quite not very good. Webinar. Yeah, you have recording but not start yes yeah. <laughs> I clicked I clicked at the rec at the button and uh, did you click on start event nobody no, clicked. clicked it's I click at the record only okay. record uh, you must click on spust it yeah, in the right yeah. corner it's yeah. orange oh. button okay yeah? so, so, I, so, so we have we have to again, start guys. again so we'll yeah. start again yeah I'm, I'm oh, sorry yeah. guys no problem, okay. no problem. <laughs> so, I'm starting. So, hello everyone. This is uh, Cornel Mazur and Zdenek Zainka from Strategic Quant. And today we have prepared for you the webinar where we will discuss the robustness testing and their importance uh, for our successful algo trading. We will um, discuss whole topic and then go through the uh, everything step by step in the strategy quant. So uh, you will see everything and uh, then you can follow us as uh, you are using your strategy quant. So uh, I hope you will like it and uh, now I will Introduce this Denek Zanka, which will continue. Okay, thank you so much, Cornel. Uh, it's my pleasure to be here on this webinar and uh, to speak about algorithmic trading. Algorithmic trading is something what I really like and what I, I really love. Uh, my name is Denek Zanka, as I said before, and uh, my nickname is Sydney because uh, Sydney is Zdenek in English. So. Now I would like to tell you some information about me, about my person. I'm an active trader since uh, 2006. And uh, uh, futures and forex. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, I was discretionary trader from 2006 to 2013. I have to say that it's not easy to be discretionary trader. I was profitable, but it's very difficult for concentration because uh, you must uh, you must be fully concentrated for many hours every day. And frankly, it is not so easy. So I was discretionary trader for seven years. And in 2012, I was a bit fed up by the discretionary trading. So I have started with... Uh, uh, automated uh, trading strategies and I started with testing of, of uh, algorithmic strategies and in 2013 I moved all my trades to automated trading so for the last four years I am only automated trader now I am also co-owner of a strategy quant company and uh, uh, in this company, my business line is education. So I am focused on education, on training, and also on strategy development. Uh, Cornel Mazur is a very experienced uh, strategy developer and also one of our key persons in education. So now I'd, I would like to give speech to him and he will tell you some very important information regarding robustness testing because from my experience and from my point of view the robustness testing is a key to success so Cornell let's start thank you Zdenek thank you for introduction and uh, I will continue with uh, my introduction let me tell you some several words about me I'm active trader since 2009 so Artists for several years in market. I've uh, also started as discretionary trader. I watched the market and find the edge, but uh, my background is more like analyzed and uh, uh, partly programmer. So, so uh, I started to develop uh, the robots from the beginning. And uh, before it, I used to work uh, as an anal analyst for Czech National Bank and at other various projects, but simply. I can say that I, when I found the uh, trading, I really started to like it, and then I moved my forward everything in my career to to develop robots and to start to be professional trader. Uh, so now I use Strategic Quant for creating high quality quality portfolios, and uh, we will discuss about uh, the creating strategies like this today, and. Uh, I am focused on Forex and uh, futures and stocks. I own the different uh, robots and portfolios for all of those markets. And so uh, I hope I will share with you some knowledge today. Even if uh, you are not already the uh, strategic quant users, this value can be really interesting for you because uh, I think the topic which we are discussing today is the key line is like breaking line between those trader and traders which are successful in algo trading and those which are not so let's move on and continue and one thing if uh, during you watch this webinar then if you will watch it whole time that in the end we will give you the gift and uh, i will have it like surprise so so just listen, enjoy, and in the end, uh, I will uh, tell you instruction how to obtain this gift. And uh, just one thing, I can say that this gift will be really valuable for you and can save you several hours of uh, research. So stay tuned and we can start. What we are discuss today? Today, we'll discuss the topic, why we need the robustness test. You know, it's, uh, it's even not uh, when you develop a strategy at some data sample, then uh, you can um, you can have some nice equity, which is great because uh, because uh, of course uh, as a the algo developer you are searching for strategies with good equities, but there is one question that we used uh, historical data and now we need to make sure that our strategy will have also similar similar performance in the future and mean that the, the strategy this one has really nice results in the past but uh, the question is how it will perform in the future um, you know why we do this and why we discuss this 
this is easy because market is still changing and this is simply environment where I and you simply there is no single the same day as in the past in the market every day has its own new news it's a correlation relation between other markets simply time is going and market is also changing and we, as we are doing business in algo trading and we are successful traders, we need to make sure that our robots will be able to adapt at the changing markets. And uh, our robots will be able to face it. And this is what we need, what we will uh, do today. And the, another reason why we need robustness tests is that live trading has always higher demands on strategy than backtest, than backtest and the, the results from development process um, are always, almost always kind of better than live trading. Simply because uh, the, uh, the environment of brokers is not perfect. There are slippages here. Uh, you know, sometimes when news appears, uh, there is lack of liquidity and uh, so the mm, so the slippage is higher then uh, there there can be some some other issues which we need to face but it's not a problem those issues uh, it is not a problem with if we count with it and uh, so this is why we are doing this webinar today how to how to face these issues which um, happen in market and how to like uh, survive and how to win. And another another point, really important point, why we need robustness test, is that uh, we need to be confidential about our strategies. We need to have confidence. And uh, I can describe it really easily. Uh, imagine that you are employer and you have company. Then every your worker which you employ, like you will test him. You will test him if he, he really has the qualities that he is saying. Now it's crucial because the, we need to very well job done, you know, to company to be successful, we need really good employers. And every one employer is like our trading robot. We can compare it. Uh, simply we have to be, uh, we have to have confidence that this uh, robots have good quality and high quality enough that we can uh, put them into the live markets and uh, put money into it our own money and so this is also really important reason why me for example have to be 100 percent sure the strategy that i produce and what i have in portfolio will uh, do good job and have high quality so and how i am how i'm doing this yes because i'm asking it always i'm asking this always always and the reason is then robustness tests so let's move on and uh, look what test we'll do in this webinar now we'll discuss them a little bit uh, like uh, more in theory but uh, Shortly, we will go to the practical part and uh, I will show you everything in strategy quant directly. The first test, you probably know it, is out of sample test. What does, that, what does it mean? Uh, let's say that we have 10 years data sample and we can use it all for development of our strategy, for training. But me will never do this. I will always use just eight years for example, eight years for development and then two years for confirmation. And uh, so, uh, you know, then the, the, those two years can be like blind data. It can be, of course, a longer interval, not just two years. But now for this example, there are some hidden blind data which we use and we are saving those data for robustness testing. We are not using this data during development process. So this is first test. It's uh, really fast, easy, but uh, it's important. And it makes difference in live results then. 
The second is different time frame. That's uh, the reason for this test is that we simply uh, can put the we need to put higher demands on our strategy, and strategy should be able to those demands and to win and survive in the condition that we prepare and uh, to pass this test. And for this reason, if we develop strategy at one hour time frame, then I will also test the strategy at 30 minutes time frame and look how it perform and then at four hour time frame, which is like pretty wide range, you know. But again, if the strategy passed this test, that it has some information about its qualities. So this is the second test we will do. The another test which we will do is slippage test. You can see at the graph that there are some uh, like uh, pin bars or there are some uh, like uh, can be shot when market moved really fast and keep all those stop losses of uh, the uh, people that uh, that uh, hope that there will, there will be breakout or something like this and uh, in this condition market uh, can or there is some news appears mostly market is really fast and sleepage uh, rise and it can rise two times three times or even five times and so we need to be sure that even sleepage will be higher then our strategy can still survive and it can still make money which is of course goal so this is the third test we will do today. And the last test is that we will use completely different data for backtesting. I will show you that I, uh, I have developed some strategies at Euro USD pair. And uh, as in the last test, I will use GBP USD pair. So the strategy will have to We'll have to fight completely different market. Of course, market with high correlation, but completely different market and should stay profitable. So let's start. I will move to the strategy quant software. And uh, now we will go through the, all the tests step by step. So let me introduce just now which strategies we will test today. Here I have about 200 of strategies that I already prepared. And uh, we will, the, every single line is of course uh, the strategy. And uh, as I told previously, we'll go and test, test each one of them at following four tests. I build this strategy using uh, genetic, of course the genetic evolution process and uh, I used Euro USD symbol one hour time frame and uh, then uh, it uh, I let the run strategy quant for several for uh, several hours and it developed some strategies here um, is uh, just the building block I used I used the building blocks for breakouts and uh, uh, and some other uh, setting but um, for now just we need to know that uh, I use this uh, genetic evolution and uh, I develop strategies for U USD I already developed those, all those strategies uh, strategic one found it and we moved them to the retester so and this is the topic of today the topic is to test those strategies and delete those which not pass the criteria and this uh, the better with uh, those which pass will continue in future with work so let's move to the first test we can see at the um, random equity here that uh, there is a uh, year 2013 2014 and uh, so the first test which we will do is uh, the first out of sample test and what i will do here is that i will use all data from 2015 years it will, be, it will the data the back tested data will be will begin at 2015 and end in 2016 I'm just
So I need to set the data. And uh, this is all. And we can start this first out of sample test. Let's look what will happen. Test is performing really fast. And let be testing one year, one year of blind data. And so let's look at the results. Randomly, I can click and I see some results here. How to interpret them? Here you can see that uh, uh, these are the strategy, and here we can have profit factor. I will click at the profit factor and this select all strategies which has profit factor smaller than 1.29 which is exactly here. Simply those strategies didn't pass this first test. Let's look at their equities. You can see this is not really the equity we, we like to have at our real account. So um, now I will delete those strategies. And there is still a lot of more and we'll save them to the next test. So this test was really fast and easy, but uh, for this reason, I also I, uh, use it as first one because it's the easiest and will continue. The second test is test at different time frame. So what I'm going to do is that I will, of course, set it back, set back the data. So now data are again whole data sample. And but what I'm gonna do now, I will change the time frame. Develops I've developed strategy for one hour time frame, so I will use uh, 30 minutes. Let's look what will happen. We still have 172 strategies here. Now the back test will perform longer, of course, because we are backtesting using 10 years of data history. And we can see here that some results appear. And for example, I will select one and so here it's really interesting that even a strategy developed for one hour time frame has still really interesting results even at a half hour. So if the market will change the cycles, the market will change the cycles faster or slower, the environment of our market will change. This strategy has high probability that it will remain profitable because simply or it, it doesn't matter if uh, it's run uh, market is the fast uh, change fast or slower. And uh, let's look at the progress. Right now we are somewhere in the middle. And so for you can look at the logic of some strategy. Here's the source code. It's you know, really interesting how a simple strategy like this with RSI can have interesting results, you know. It's RSI is like primary condition and you can put order at level of previous close plus Bollinger ratio. And then we have stop loss 51 pips and profit target. Okay. But this is random strategy. Yeah. So we are already done with this test and we'll look at the results.
Okay, looks like it's done. So let's look at the results in the same way as previously. I will um, put the order based on profit factor and select the strategies which profit factor is lower than line 1.3, which is somewhere here. And then I will delete those selected strategies. Here you can see that there's already 62 strategies selected. So this test was like harder and uh, more strategies, we didn't survive them. But still there is 110 rows which remain, so we can continue. The next is to use different time frame, the higher time frame, which is uh, H4. And uh, is higher. Here is the time frame we use for development. We already tested this one. Now we continue to this one. So let's start the test again. And look, which strategies will survive. Okay, it was much much faster because we used a higher time frame, and for the purpose of webinar, I'm also using the uh, the backtesting engine. Uh, as you will do it um, alone, you can use uh, more higher precision, which is uh, one minute data slow. But for now, this is I think something what is correct. So here, let's interpret results again. I will again the use this uh, order, the profit factor, and select the strategies which has profit factor lower than 1.3. It's right here. Let's delete those strategies. So I did it. 11 strategies is not money. And uh, let's look at some equities, some interesting equities uh, uh, which uh, this test produce. For example, this is the best one here. And you can see the strategy kind of uh, struggle with this time frame, H4. And the, the equity is not smooth as uh, at the uh, H1 time frame, but still, still a strategy survive and didn't produce uh, too many the losers in portfolio. Like this one, I don't like it, I will delete it. You can go through strategies and simply look at them from different point of view. So this was the test on different time frame. Let's move to the another third test, which is slippage test. This test refers to the situation, as I told previously, when some news appear in the market and the uh, slippage is much higher than usually. So what I'm going to do now is that I will move back the start and end date of the data sample. And then I will set slippage to 3. That means that uh, for every trade, which this strategy strategy do will uh, do, will be like eight, three pips slippage, and uh, strategy should survive and uh, should remain profitable even in this condition. Even in a normal trading, uh, this situation is not happening. In normal trading, we don't get slippage like this for every trade, but uh, sometimes it happens and we need to be prepared. So let's start again. I will move back also the period to one hour. So everything is correct. And uh, the test is prepared. And we can backtest those strategies.
Oh, largely. More than half of them are back tested. Let's wait several seconds and be done and can move on. You know, it's also what I like about this program is that you can see how fast it uh, performs the back testing. Imagine how to do those tests in a MetaTrader. It's um, something uh, from my point of view impossible. Even MetaTrader is a high quality platform and I use it in trading, but more like execution platform for development. But the speed here is crucial when we perform the, so many tests like this. So let's look at the results again. Here we interpret the results with slippage test. Again, it's profit factor. And I will select profit factor below 1.3, which is somewhere here. And uh, move down and delete strategies. Before I look at the strategies, how they look. OK. So this is the strategy that didn't pass the slippage test. And um, just uh, when you look at it, you see the reason. Simply, it's too many trades. And, uh, and the, the equity go down from 2030 and still continue down. So probably in future, it, uh, the results will not be better. And that's great because uh, right now we are deleting strategy. Uh, which uh, adjust in the in, in this testing environment, so it doesn't cost us any money, you know. And this is the purpose of the tests: delete them all and uh, just uh, save those which survive those conditions. Okay, so let's delete. And if you, I will select some better of them. You can see that uh, there, there equity remain stable so this is some drawdown here but there's no problem because we will always trade the whole portfolio not just one strategy and uh, we're still doing new high so this strategy should definitely uh, uh, be safe to next step okay so this was the third test test on the slip a test on slippage. Let's move to the fourth test, which is test on different market. Let's see if this strategy will survive at the data, PPP, USD data, even if it was not created for this market. So I will move back to the setting, click at the data, and select different market, which is right here. I will save the period and just put the slippage to zero because it's not the purpose of this test. That is the strategy. We already see some sounds. Okay. Select them and click at some of them. Right. Okay, it's just random equity from those I selected. And uh, that's interesting, you know, because now strategy is tested at a different market and it's still profitable, which is great. But it's not all. If you will, it's uh, not, uh, not everyone is like this. If I will select this one, this equity. It's definitely not nice. There is a long, long period of stagnation, and the stagnation begin also here. So click stagnation mark marker. It's about 2,000 days of stagnation. So now we used another measure, how to another point of view, how to measure the robustness of strategy, and. Uh, We can delete all those which didn't survive. So again, ordered strategy using profit factor. Here are some strategies. 
or oh, some strategies has really big trouble with this test. They are constantly losing money for the most of the time. So let's delete those strategies. And lastly, I delete those 33 strategies. Let's look for some equities which survived. This one has also the long time of stagnation. We can go step by step. I did it. The equities we don't like, you know, the fastest way is to merge them based on profit factor. But of course, uh, if uh, you don't like some of the equities, it's up to you. It's better. But there is some really interesting pieces here, like for example, this one. Okay, so finally, we have about 15, 49 strategies that survive in those basic testing. We can move back to the Euro USD, back test them and see which strategy survived, and uh, then we'll continue. Yeah, so nice equity. So now I see the equity, but uh, there is not just the only one information that this one strategy has nice equity. Now I know that it perform well at a different time frame, perform well at different market, even with slippage, even at blind data, which put much bigger confidence into it, you know, and. Uh, so I can uh, continue and uh, work uh, further with the strategy and continue to test it or put it at uh, demo account. The strategy quant has also the more robustness test that use uh, Monte Carlo method, but uh, this is uh, not the topic which we are discussing today. We will probably do another webinar and discuss about those more advanced methods, which are again selecting the best, best, the best strategies from those one. So now it's uh, time to move on. I will uh, tell you a little bit about the gift which we prepared for you, and uh, then we will finish our webinar. So what's the gift? You can see here some strategies I generated. And you can see that some of those strategies has really interesting equities. And the question is how I developed those strategies, how Strategic Quant uh, uh, found, found them. And the answer is easy. You can also develop strategies like this exactly because uh, if uh, because right after the webinar, you can ask uh, at the email, you can send question to the email, which I will show you. And uh, we will give you exact the setting we use for developing those strategies. So uh, what you will need to do will be just that you just load the setting. You will select the setting you will obtain. You will select the file open it, then you will select the data you have. You can use the data which are default in strategy quant or you can import data using uh, Tick Downloader, which is also our free software, which is our free software. And uh, then just, just to start the right button. And uh, you will wait for several moments, you will obtain interesting strategies. So this is the gift. And uh, now let's move back to the presentation. I will 
show you the email. It's webinar roboforex.com. I would like to thank you for uh, your attention, for visiting this webinar. And uh, we are looking forward with Zdenek to see you next time. And don't forget, don't forget would you like to say something. Uh, thank you so much for, uh, for, for your attention. And thank you so much, Cornel, for your nice presentation. And I think that in the next webinar, we will tell us something about uh, other robustness tests. Yeah. So thank you so much and have a nice evening. Thank you. You too. Bye. Bye. Bye.